Welcome, in front of me is an iPad and today I will show you how you can go through the setup of your brand new device. So when you boot it up for the first time you'll be presented with the same screen that you can see on my end and all you want to do is just select your desired language and then your uh, region. Region has no discernible kind of impact on the device as far as I can tell, so you can choose whichever one shows up at the very top. And next we have appearance, so we just have the uh, size of the UI. I'm going to keep it at default. Next we have quick start. Uh, this will allow you to transfer over data from, for instance, something like an old, uh, old or your uh, iPhone. It doesn't even need to be old, obviously, uh, to this one. So just a quick way to move over all things like applications, contacts, messages, and so on. Now, I'm not going to be utilizing this. I don't have anything. I don't have an iPhone to do that, and neither do I want to transfer over the data. So I'm going to select setup. Uh, what was it without uh, without another device? Uh, then write and speak a write and spoken language. So you can choose your language. Uh, later on in the settings, you can add multiple, and this would basically provide you with things like autocorrect uh, when you're typing. Uh, so if you choose additional languages, obviously that will autocorrect to two multiple languages instead of, for instance, just one. Uh, now, again, I'm just going to select set up later in settings. And next we have to connect to network. Uh, Apple is one of those annoying companies that forces you to connect to network for no reason whatsoever. Uh, it's your device, but it's not like you have control over it. Uh, it's after all Apple software that you have no effing say to. So if Apple wants you to connect, you will connect. If Apple wants to remove access to the device for you, they will do that. Uh, so I just want to kind of stress that um, it's a overpriced device that you don't really own. Anyway, I'm going to put in my password. Let's give it a moment. Next we have data and privacy. Uh, this is very rich, um, even like just the first two words. Considering if you're in UK, you got none of that because the government is now spying on you and uh, it's not like you have control over that. So I just kind of wanted to point that out there. Uh, as Apple previously was uh, supposedly the secure kind of device that you could uh, kind of feel like your data is kept se secure. Uh, but because I think it was UK, uh, decided they wanted to have backdoor into it uh, and forced Apple to, to do this or they would just not sell it there. Uh, Apple decided to make it a toggle and uh, basically all future devices, which I think include also this one, uh, me uh, will come with the option already toggled off. So uh, government has now backdoor into your device, meaning your data isn't secure. What a surprise. Anyway, so I'm just going to ignore this uh, load OBS right here and move over to the next page, which is a setup iPad. Uh, so set up for myself, set up for my child uh, and family. It's completely up to you which one you want to choose. I'm just going to be setting it up for myself. Then you can add your fingerprint. Uh, it is the power button that doubles as a touch ID. Uh, if you want to, obviously you can set it up. If you don't, you can actually skip this. So set up later in settings and don't use. And then you have the option to also add a screen lock. And again, I think this is optional. Yep, we can click right here on passcode options and you can choose things like the alphabetical, uh, alphabetical password, uh, numeric one, four digit numeric one, or just don't use passcode at all. And I'm gonna select don't use. This is just the way I wanna set it up. I honestly wouldn't recommend not using a passcode like I am. Uh, it's much better to keep your device secure rather than not. But this is the company, so it doesn't really matter as everyone is using it and there is no personal data being kept on here. Next, we have transfer your apps and data. Again, it goes back to the transferring over from like an old I or iPhone or something else. But here you have a couple additional options, like for instance, the iCloud backup, uh, another iPad, uh, PC or Mac, uh, Android, and uh, you just also can choose to not transfer over any data. Next, we have Apple account, aka Apple ID uh, or iCloud. Uh, so you can sign into this. It's probably going to be good for you to sign into this as you need an account to use things like, for instance, the Apple Store. Without it, you won't be able to really access almost any kind of applications uh, as there is no third party store at the moment that I know of. And if there is, I think you still need to have 
access the App Store to download the alternative store. So uh, in any case, you probably will want to sign in. Now, if you don't want to do it right now, or maybe just don't want to sign in for some reason at all, you can choose right here, other sign in options. And then we have, uh, actually no, sorry, forget password or don't have an account. That's where we need to go. And in here we have the option to create a new account or also set up later in settings and don't use. So this is a way you can uh, skip the sign in page without obviously signing in. Terms and conditions, you can read exactly what you're agreeing to. You can click right here to have a more comprehensive uh, legal document. At the end of the day, you do need to press on agree. Update your, update your iPad automatically. Uh, again, completely up to you. If you want to have your iPad update automatically when there is a new, uh, new version of a software, you can select continue. If you don't, you can have it. Uh, uh, you can only select the only download automatically. There is no option for the device to not download the thing. So meaning that when there's a new update, your device gets cluttered with the new uh, approximately what five gigabyte software. Uh, just because and then it's gonna just kind of constantly keep popping up with the notification that you have an update to install uh, And there is no option to kind of like not allow it to do that Then we have location services Completely up to you uh, decent amount of applications require these so you might as well select turn on and uh, Location services then we have set up a mobile service uh, this allows you to add a kind of like a sim card it's a sim it's an eSIM using a qr code um as there is no actual tray for a physical sim card so if you don't have a eSIM, you kind of can't use that but if you want you can always have your phone and set up a hotspot if you want network on this device now i don't have nor will i be setting up anything so i'm going to select set up later in settings and then select skip screen time and this is just a diagnostic uh, tool that uh, allows you to see how much time you have spent on with screen on and like on what applications. So you can select, for instance, continue if you want to. iPad analytics. Uh, just go over these, see which ones you want. Uh, I don't really like anything that analyzes like that. So select uh, later. Then we have a light or dark mode. Not really a display, but whatever. Uh, it's basically a theme to, to your entire device. Uh, choose whichever one you prefer more you have obviously light dark or you can have both both meaning that the device will be swapping between these two modes based on time of day i'm going to choose dark as i just like the more dark look to the device and then we are basically finished so we're going to get started and here's our home screen so there we go now if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching